Oh, let's go, Fred. Come on now. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. It is a lovely day here on the Sand Hill Flyway property, that is. I don't know what else to call it other than that. Uh, we are getting some farming underway, as you guys could tell by the title and thumbnail today. We are building today. It's build day. The reason why is because we got chickens coming tomorrow. Got to get it done today. I've put it off long enough, but I got all the wood that we'll need to build a really nice coop. It's going to be decent size, enough for maybe four to six at most. Basically enough to keep our refrigerator and some of our friends provided with some eggs. So, Federico, what do you think about chickens? No, they're not replacing you, dude. The wife, the kids, heck, even I, I want some chickens. I'm about sick of going to the grocery store and getting eggs, seriously. We got some new decking screws. What else we got in here? We got some fencing staples. We got some door hinges. We got a door handle, door latch, and some new and improved wire snips. Oh yeah. We're gonna whip this out in this video, and this is where they're going. Uh, I'm thinking, right here we'll start it so the chicken coop will start right here and it'll go all the way to about here and then the pigeon coop will start pigeon loft i should say and it'll go to about here a lot of area good shade in the summertime to keep them cool for one thing i want to get homer pigeons so one thing about homer pigeons you like to fly them that's why you have them i want to let them out i want to fly them i want to take them 10 miles 20 miles away let them go and time how long it takes them to fly home. That's what homing pigeons do. That's why people are able to race uh, homing pigeons from let's say Texas to Kansas or something. So essentially this area is the only area with abundance of shade close to the water spigot. Close to old Frederick, just kidding, but doesn't have any high trees right here. Yes. Major key ingredient, uh, Jordan put me on game with that. He's like, Bob, you need an area without any tall trees because hawks love to ambush pigeons, especially. You know, pigeons that get out, fly, and then they, they land, boom! They'll, they'll nail them straight out of the air. They don't care. So this is the beginning to our little farm piece here. Birds over here. We'll eventually put some fence out there. Maybe have some goats. Eventually, definitely gonna have to have some horses because the girls are literally begging me every day for them. Yeah, take a look around. It ain't hard to see. Love ain't love like. Well, we're getting somewhere finally. I have five batteries and it took about two and a half hours to get one of them charged here she is this is the structure ready to go what are you girls doing what are you doing you've been riding your bicycle everywhere i think we got We're some sh i think we got some shots of you on the trail cam out back <laughs> probably yeah we did what are you doing you little ducks huh just hanging out just hanging out already getting weak too. I can tell. What do you think, bub? Good. Good. He always says that. Well, there we go. That is uh, two studs that we need for the living area for the chickens. So we're going to build a little plywood house. No, you can't try. Don't touch that saw, Bubba. A little living area made out of plywood for the for the chickens somewhere that they can nest and we can open a door and like I said the eggs are right there so we don't have to go in the coop every time how are you good you gonna say anything huh? anything at all no Well, we are back home and check it out. Look what we got going on here. Oh, getting the old camper ready to go, but I have something exciting to show y'all. Uh, since, uh, since the last pigeons we trapped, 
uh, for old Frederick's training. It's been a couple days and uh, we're gonna get Frederick's training started here quick. I, I'm reminding you guys because there's been a ton of you that ask me all the time, Bobby, I need to train my dog. What should I do? A lot of those videos are coming for y'all. What do you got going on back here, bub? He's gonna show us. Oh, really? Check it out. Here's the new chicken coop and the pigeon loft. You got the ducks with the pigeons, bub. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Because. Why? Because they got in there by themselves. <laughs> I don't know how they got in there together, bub. How'd you do that? Oh, they went through there. Yeah. Oh, the chicks can fit through the wire. Oh, bubba. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Here it is. Here's the chicken side. I haven't showed you guys anything. Uh, it took us a little bit of time to build everything. Awesome little chicken coop. This side is the chickens. All for the chickens and the ducks. So pond, this is the wall. This is what separates the pigeons from the chickens. And look what we got going on over here. We finally got the pigeon loft here to the new house and we built onto it. So what I did is I built this big structure and then just attached the chicken coop to that side the pigeon loft to this side. And let's check it out. You wanna go in there, buddy? Yeah. Okay, Hello. go in there, go on. Oh, watch out, buddy. But here we are. Here are the pigeons just the chilling. They're loving it. I'll show you the babies here in one minute. But I opened this up so they can fly right in here. And uh, well, <laughs> the ducks are in here eating the pigeon food, bub. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? He, he got his food right there. Yeah, he went through the fence again. Yeah. Well, you about got pooped on, buddy. We got pigeons above you. Now there is a ton of room in here. And I mean a ton. So we can add more pigeons and we can add more chickens and ducks on that side. Pigeons are loving the extra room. See how close we can get. Oh, 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 they're gonna fight. What do you think, buddy? Good. Good. I'm telling you what, they are liking being here, this extra room. The pigeons are just loving it. Okay, bring them out here. Well, that's one of our ducks. We went to Orschlands and bought our chickens and our ducks. So actually I didn't buy them. The wife bought them and surprised me with them. She's like, here, Bob, you need to get to building. And I'm like, okay, that's why I didn't film any of it because she surprised me with them, which I was happy. It's been a lot of fun, but I didn't have time to film. I literally just had to crank out and get this done. You know how you guys can imagine uh, when I film and edit everything myself, plus building this myself, I just needed to sit the camera down, have my own personal time to get it done. And I'm glad I did, it paid off. I was able to get it all done in one day. Thank you to the wife's help. She was a huge help. Team effort. Bubba, they are out of food. We gotta get them new food. We gotta change them ducks' as water. Check him out, he's just loving life. Do we have a name for him, Bubba? Yeah, we don't have a name for him. How about y'all name him? We need a good old name for old Yeller right there. He's the biggest of them all. Actually, he's not the biggest of them all. That guy right there, not the black one, that yellow one, he's the biggest of all the ducks. We only have three ducks. We got the black one. We actually had one of the black ones die. Yeah, we started with four ducks, and now we're down to one black one and two old yellers. So, check this out. I was going to show you. We got babies everywhere. Baby ducks, baby chicks, and baby pigeons. Here's one of the white ones. He's standing on his own now. You want to see, buddy? Yeah. Check it out. See him? Yeah. Isn't he cute? No, don't touch him. They're a little weary. He's going to nip at your finger. Touch him. Oh, no, he don't like it. <laughs> All right, Bubba. Let's show them the next one. Now, over on this side, we got another baby, and that is an Auburn baby. Hold on, Bubba. He is all red, and I mean really, really deep red, his neck and head. Uh, it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful bird right there. That's what I'm liking about the old pigeon loft. I'm gonna get an assortment of colors in here and create some beautiful pigeons. That's what we've been doing. But now that they're here, I can really concentrate on my breeding and what I'm doing and what colors I want where. You want to see that one too, buddy? Yeah. Okay, get up there, check him out. Look at him, isn't he cute? He's a little older than the white one. All right, let's leave him alone. A little older than the white one, you can tell. 
Uh, but any day now, probably in the next week, I bet. Probably the next week. They'll get big enough to wear. They'll actually get on their little roost pad and they will fly down to go eat by themselves. But here's our uh, chicken coop. No, I did not build this. I bought it because look at it. It's just beautiful. I couldn't have done that good of a job. Four little areas ready for nesting. The wife and I, we are ready for some eggs, baby. Cannot wait. Nope, get that out of the water. Hey, hey, well, that don't go in there, man. <laughs> we got to put food in there, Bubba. Earlier, he put this poor little chick in the water, too. Look at him. Bubba, we can't put the chickens in the water, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Keeping this little man tame with these animals. I'm telling you, hey, don't. You better be nice, Bubba. Bodie is the loft farmer. He, I'm not kidding you. He is out here all day, every day, feeding them, watering them, seeing if they're okay, playing with them, throwing the chickens in the water, doing things that you're not supposed to do, Bubba. You gotta be nice to our animals, okay? He's my little Twinkie. Yes, I was bleach blonde just like him when I was a little boy. Well, let's feed him, buddy. You ready? Yeah. Let's feed him. Hey, I can do it. Oh, you want to do it? Here you go. You can do it. Okay. Don't spill it. Okay. Good boy. Go on down the line. There you go, buddy. That's my boy. Good boy. You didn't spill any. That's my man. He's been practicing. You been practicing, Bubba? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, finally, finally. We got water back here, babe. We got water. We got power. We're good. Yeah, we got... <laughs> yeah, about that. Yeah, we got 200 foot of water hose. It took 200 feet to get it from the nearest spigot. So that's done. And then number two... We got power back here, which that's just a couple extension cords. We need to get uh, official power ran underneath. Uh, actually, it wouldn't be bad just to stub through the wall. That's probably what we need to do for the power deal. But the bad thing is it took 200 foot of water line because my nearest spigot is on the lodge. Yeah, so the lodge, nearest spigot. That's a lot of money in hose, let me tell you what. And this guy, I remember when he was young. Mom, do you remember when Frederick was a young boy? Yeah. What did he do? He chewed all of our hose. He chewed all of our hose up. I used to have 200 plus foot of good old hose. And that young dog. Back when he was under a year, he chewed it all up. So I had to buy all new hose for the new house. Yeah, two new hoses on Father's Day for Bob. Fred, the next day to all oh, yeah. both of them. Oh, same time. It was same time like this last year. Yeah. Yeah, we had just got them. Frederick. We had had him for how old was he? He wasn't. We only had him for a couple months. Yeah, one month probably. So he was. Fred was five months at that point. Six months. Yeah. Well, he is a good boy. You getting it, bub? Yeah. 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 That's, that's our little farm boy right there. Hey, there's some good looking shoes you got on, Bubba. No those comment. Are Crocs, Bodie? What are, are those? Are them your Crocs, Bubba? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's way too busy. Oh, but you guys have been asking me for quite some time, Bob, when are you going to get the pigeon loft all done at the new house? And yeah, it took me forever. I'm just busy with the new lodge and booking all you new clients and keeping track of everything new. Yes, it's, it is an excuse, but finally, 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 we got it done. I want to thank you all for being here. I, I really want to tell you all a huge thank you for just... What's wrong, dude? For just sticking around. You know, this off season, it's kind of hard on me. Kind of like Bodie right now crying in the background. It's kind of how I feel. This off season, it's a struggle with the hunting season not being here. So all of my subscribers that are hitting the notification bell, watching the videos right, right away, I, I really appreciate you guys so much. I mean, you guys, you guys that keep coming back is, is exactly that. It keeps me coming back. If you guys have any recommendations, on the new Out situation bub do you need a nap man oh he, he wants the hose he okay enough. okay give go him the hose side by side, dude. Go wash it. hey go wash your side by side bub there you go go wash her up there you go that'll nice that'll put a smile right on his face real quick but thank you all for being here subscribe if you haven't and like i said if you have any ideas for our new little setup they gotta let us know down below don't they yeah some goats um 
What are those other type of birds that walk about and they keep the guineas. prey away? Guineas. guineas. You want guineas? Yeah. Okay. Do you think okay. they would stay? Oh, peacocks. A mating pair of peacocks. Why do you want a peacock? I just want peacocks. You want a horse. They just roost <laughs> up in trees and they just look pretty. But they also might be kind of mean and they poop on your vehicle. Right. So maybe kind of cool on a horse. So talk Bob into it. <laughs> She's telling you guys to talk me into it. The horse is a lot of work, okay? And a lot of money. It's kind of like having a boat. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.